Welcome everyone, this is Online Maths TV, where we learn mathematics every day. My name is Jake's Animal, as you all know. Today we have an Olympiad Exponential Challenge. The question is x to the power of x equal to x to the power of 3. What there will be the three possible values of x? Now, before we continue, I want to uh, say a very big thank you to uh, Mrs. Joyce a Daferio, the, the sponsor of this uh, uh, video. All right, uh, Miss uh, Joyce, we want to tell you we love you. And every one of us at Online Mass TV, we are grateful for that which you've done for us uh, besides sponsoring this video. Okay, we say we love you, we love you, and we'll keep on loving you. Okay, thanks so much for all you've done for us. Okay, we're grateful. All right, now let's go to today's challenge. With this, let's put down our uh, question. So we'll take selection selection and the question x to the power of x equal to x to the power of three now if you look at this question it is easy to solve at a glass you get your answer if we succumb to the rule which says that when the bases are the same and you have an equality sign then equate the exponent in other words if you have your e to the power of x equal to a to the power of why the law says that this and this will live and so we are now left with x and y so we cannot equate the exponents so we now have x equal to y that is the law now if we bring that law here our s is going to give us here three so we're going to have our s to be three but if you look at this question we are having s to the power of three in other words we are to get three roots that can satisfy this equation okay three numbers that we will plug into this equation will give us answer okay the solution to this and so we're going to use a different approach that will bring out all the three roots so it's expected that you stay from the beginning to the end so that you get the gist in full so what we'll do here move this s to the power of three to the left hand side of the equation so if we do that we're going to have here x to the power of x minus here we have the visible plex so it turns to minus x to the power of 3 equal to 0. On the right hand side, we are left with 0. Okay, now with this, what we do is to factor out x to the power of 3 from here. So let's bring out x to the power of 3 from here. If we do that, we're going to have here x to the power of 3 bracket. x to the power of 3 from here, we are left with x to the power of x minus. 3. In other words, if you use s to the power of 3 to divide this, we're going to have x to the power of x minus 3. Then, minus x to the power of 3 dividing x to the power of 3, we're left with 1, close bracket, equal to 0. Okay. Now, with what we have here now, we are having this multiply everything here. So, we suck up to the zero product rule. Okay. So, with that, we're going to have our expression will now become x to the power of 3 equal to 0 or your x to the power of x minus 3 minus 1 equal to 0. Now at this point, x to the power of 3 equal to 0 is easy. We take the cube root of both sides. So if we take the cube root of both sides, we're going to have our x here equal to 0. Now this is the first solution. To our equation. Let's take this other side of the equation now. So from here, let's proceed. So we have our x to the power of x minus 3 minus 1 equal to 0. Now look at this. Send this to this other side of the equation. So we now have here x to the power of x minus 3 equal to 1 x is at the base and we're having it as exponent so what we do here is to take the natural log of both sides here okay so we ln both sides of the equation so if we do that we're going to have here ln of bracket x to the power of x minus 3 close bracket equal to your ln of 1 okay here we we'll succumb to the rule of logarithm which says that if you have ln 
of uh, k to the power of p said move this p backward and so this will now give us here yeah, p into yeah, all n of k okay so if we suck up to this rule we are going to move the whole of this backward okay so if we move that backward as power we're going to have your your x minus 3 close bracket ln of your x equal to the ln of 1 will give us 0. Okay, so let's proceed. Good. From here, we're going to discover that we're going to have the a zero product law from here again because here we have a dot here. Okay, so if we start out to the zero product law, we're going to have your x minus 3 equal to 0 or your ln of x equal to 0. Good. So from here, send minus 3 to the right-hand side of the equation. So we have this to be your x equal to positive 3. This is the second root to our equation. So we have our x2 here out. We take this other side of the equation. So from here, we now have this to be, let's rule this out. We have here your ln of x being equal to zero. So what do we do here to get our x? Now this is a natural log. We have to find a system to eliminate this natural log. And for us to eliminate this natural log, we bring in our e, okay? So this e first. So we're going to have our e power of ln of x equal to your e naught here. Okay, from here, this natural law will go with this. We are left with x. And e naught will give us 1. And so we're going to have our x equal to 1. So this is the third root to our exponential equation. So what are the three possible roots we can get from this exponential equation? We now have that to be your x 1 equal to 0. So for 0, the x2 is equal to your s2 is 3 and your x4, sorry, s3 is equal to 1. Okay, so these are the three roots, QED. All right, now if you've learned something from this short challenge, Give the video a thumbs up. Do not forget to share with family and friends, members that need this knowledge. Again, this is Online Mass TV, and my name remains Jigs Anemo. Never forget, never hesitate to subscribe and stay tuned because we're going to bring more of mathematical challenges with ease to you. Remember, Jigs loves you, and every one of us at Online Mass TV love you so much. You know why? Because you are always there. Bye for now.